I'll never learn. I need a strap to play this. This is my first look. Let me uncable myself here. This is my first look at the IYV IJZ 500 NA. So this is the big sister to the uh, semi hollow. I've featured a couple times on this channel, the 300 NA. And this is a full jazz box guitar, although with the double humbuckers. So it's unlike um, you know, a lot of full jazz box guitars with the Florentine cutaway, really nice uh, sort of burled maple, I think, and then a center section of uh, flamed or tiger maple with the antique sunburst finish. When, they, when these started coming out, they were all natural finishes, which is what I really wanted. Um, but lately, Indian Vena which is IYV, have switched those natural ones with this sunburst finish. Uh, and they didn't change the pictures on their Amazon page, so it's kind of misleading. And I've noticed two or three of the Amazon comments um, ratings have been affected by that fact. Uh, you really should change the pictures, IYV. Um, you know, you're kind of false advertising, and uh, a lot of people are not happy about that. Now I knew about it, so I knew this one was coming. And I just wanted to check it out and see what kind of a full jazz body, full hollow body guitar you get for, uh, what is it, 300 with tax, something like that. Um, well, uh, first of all, um, it's heavy as hell. It's really heavy, surprisingly heavy. Most jazz boxes are not this heavy. Um, so it's really thick graduations. There's no center block. So it's just a, it's just a heavy guitar. It's probably because uh, of the all maple construction that is quite thick. It's a, it's a ply, of course. Um, so it is a little bit on the heavy side for this style of guitar, um, for me anyway, plus all of the hardware on it. You can see the brass trapeze tailpiece with the C. I don't know why the C is on there. Bound F holes. There's the three-way switch up top and the double humbuckers. Uh, let me show you the back. It's more of a sunburst on the back and on the sides uh, with the cream binding. Cream bound neck, uh, rosewood fretboard and bridge with these big block inlays, which are mother of pearl and abalone, um, which I suppose is in keeping with the style of guitar. I'm usually seeing those on uh, uh, solid body electrics. The headstock is really nice. It's really ornate with a lot of inlay uh, abalone. Um, some of the IYV headstocks are a lot more plain than that. So they've really dressed this one out. Um, just standard gold tuners on this. You can see the sunburst is on the neck. It is gloss, it's not satin. Those of you who desire a satin neck will steal a wall that down, as a lot of you say on your videos. Other things about this, it really does play like an electric guitar rather than an acoustic. If I turn off the little amp I've got here, uh, I need this stool to prop me up here. But if I play this acoustically, it doesn't have much sound. That's my number one criticism of this guitar. For a full jazz hollow body, it should have a bit more acoustic presence than that. I mean, it doesn't, it, it doesn't sound like a solid top. It does ring a little bit, but not as much as you would expect it to. So it's, I suppose you could practice with this without electronics. But it's pretty thin. So uh, you get the, uh, the, the much more pleasurable experience uh, in electrifying it. So when I turn on the amp, the 
middle position is nice, it's got volume and tone. If I roll off some of the tone, I get more of the... get more of that sort of jazz I got too much reverb on the amp to make that sound good so um, yeah the number one issue with this is for me the weight and two it's um, not doesn't have enough verb as acoustically so and the pickups are a little bit on the weak side actually I have to crank the amp a little bit more to get any volume out of this so out of all the IYV guitars, it's certainly pretty and is up there with the aesthetics of uh, the other IYV guitars. It's a gorgeous looking guitar, but those two things put me off slightly. It's heavy. It's really heavy. And two, um, it's a bit dead acoustically. It doesn't quite pop. Uh, it doesn't have, you know, the sort of bottom end and the volume I mean it's the size of a jumbo or at least you know uh, yeah it's the size of a jumbo slightly thinner profile than most acoustics but it should have more of an acoustic presence uh, than it does so those are the two things that are disappointing about it the neck is nice it's dressed really nice the fretboard uh, um, is good as well um, so this end of the guitar is perfectly adequate um, it's set up with really low action when I got it. I had to raise it a little bit, actually. Um, but it certainly feels and plays more like an electric than an acoustic, you know. I mean, if you weren't holding this body and you were just playing the neck you, and you had your eyes closed, You'd think you were playing a Les Paul or a Les Paul copy or something. It's really got that kind of feel um, to the neck and the action. It doesn't feel like an uh, acoustic guitar, uh, like a lot of jazz boxes do. So that's, you know, sort of for me, a little bit of a detraction um, there. It's got the floating bridge uh, here with the trapeze tailpiece um, here. Gold, these gold uh, Destiny CNC wound. Uh, pickups, but they're not as strong and maybe they did that on purpose because a lot of these jazz boxes just have a single pickup Maybe they uh, didn't want them so hot on this particular guitar and I understand that a lot of people are going to play You know jazz on these things. So you don't need like the um, Pickups over over driving your amp uh, So I understand that part of it, but for me, uh, it just doesn't quite have the tone. I've got a D'Angelico uh, here I've got an old Ibanez Artwood, and I've got a um, Godin Fifth Avenue. All this style of guitar, and all sound better than this. Um, this is cheaper. This is the cheapest you're going to get for this style of guitar. Um, you got to keep that in mind. So, of course, it's not going to compete with those which are at least twice, or so in some cases even triple the cost of this. You have to keep that in mind. But for me, I think the other IYV, IYV or Indian Vena guitars are a little bit more successful in competing in the guitar style, style that they're um, trying to emulate. For instance, their 335 with the Florentine cutaway, more like a 175, ES-175, really good. Competes well in that style of guitar, great price. Uh, the Tele Thin Line that they do, great price was it 145 um that competes well uh the my favorite is their uh, their neck through that i showed you on the last video and i'll do another video just of that that is a fantastic guitar i can't believe it's 300 dollars. it's just amazing plays like a six seven eight hundred dollar guitar this less so i don't think this is quite as successful uh, just because of that awful weight on the guitar it's graduated too thickly uh, for me the sound is uh, um, acoustically not live enough it doesn't have enough acoustic presence 
Um, you can get a nice sound with the pickups and a good amp. So you can certainly gig this uh, or mod it into a really cool guitar. But for me, the base of the guitar is not quite as successful. It certainly looks great, but it's not quite as successful in the um, specs uh, and dimensions as those other guitars that they make. Um, so I mean, if you don't mind a heavy guitar and you're going to play it mostly electric, this is a great deal. It's a really good bargain. I don't mean for those detractions to take away from uh, the assessment that it is a fantastic value uh, guitar. And it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's really, really striking. Um, but I think they could improve this uh, uh, and, and improve a couple of those areas that I talked about, and it would be even better. So if this video gets back to them, and I hope it does, um, work on the graduations of this. Uh, it's a little bit heavy. Uh, I'm not sure where most of the weight is. Uh, I don't think that the, uh, the um, hardware is necessarily uh, taking most of the weight. Maybe uh, convert it to a single pickup uh, guitar, like a neck pickup. Uh, make it a true jazz box. Get rid of this middle one. Uh, and then work on this. I mean, this top is really thick and I suspect the back is really thick too uh, and it almost feels like the neck is too skimpy for uh, the rest of the guitar I mean um, the neck heel doesn't even go all the way through as you can see there it doesn't come to the top um, not really an issue but uh, it definitely is so heavy bottom heavy um, so there are my suggestions is pare this down. This is this would be a great base, but work on those issues. Get more sound out of the box itself, and then when you amplify it, uh, it's going to be a much better sounding guitar. All right, folks. See you on the next one.